welcome to my uh, Mother's Day Dollar Tree haul. I want to just come on and just give you some, uh, I don't know, just kind of show you some things that I've put together for Mother's Day. And a couple of, uh, of my hauls, I think, I don't know if it was just one of the last ones that I did, but I um, had some oven mitts that I had mentioned that I was going to do something for Mother's Day, a little gift I was going to prepare for each mom. And I have finished those. And I got to say, they look really cute. They come together. And this is what they look like. So um, I, did get the, I didn't get the ribbon at the Dollar Tree. I, got that, I ended up getting that at Michael's. But I, it was such a cute little touch there, putting that on the on the uh, on the mitt. Um, also got some tissue paper at the Dollar Tree and really stuffed the mitt so the mitt looked really full. Um, and um, just you know put some of these things in there. And the reason why just these right here is there's a devotional that I'm going to actually attach to this mitt. And I picked up some um, index cards at the Dollar Tree. There's about a hundred in the index, hundred of them in this. Yeah, that's right, 100 of them. Now, I'm not going to use 100 of them, but these are what I plan to use. And I'm actually going to pull punch at the very corner as I write the devotional on here and put that right here and put that on there for every mom to take with them. So anyway, this is, I thought it came out really good. Um, I was pleased with them, and I'm sure our moms are going to as well. Um, I, uh, after doing this, I thought, oh, I hadn't even thought about how I was going to decorate for this event. And uh, so... I thought, well, the first thing I always think about is what colors am I going to do in the flowers? I mean, there's always some kind of flower, if, if there's going to be a flower theme on my tables. And so, of course, since my mitts were uh, black and red, I thought, okay, I'm going to do black and red. And I thought, okay, well, what's black and red? What could I do? What kind of theme could I do that's black and red? Well, guess what? I thought about ladybugs. Now, how's that for Mother's Day? ladybugs so aren't they cute well I I put this together using some of the poster board that um, you can find at the Dollar Tree um, this is very inexpensive the poster board um, I believe is like 69 cents or maybe 79 cents anywhere somewhere in that ballpark for each and they're pretty it's a pretty big size and you can make these ladybugs as small or as big as you want pretty much um, as long as they're of course the size of the poster board um, but they're very easy to make. You just got to find the size of circles that you want. Um, and normally what I did for this is I used objects in my home that I could trace a circle, perfect circle, and um, made the amount that I wanted. And then this is how it came together. So I thought this was really cute. Um, now I could not find my glue, so I had to use a glue gun, which was kind of a tough thing for this because, you know, you have to, once you glue it, you're done. I mean, you're going to make sure that everything's in its spot. But this is how it came out. I thought they were just super cute. What we're going to do with these ladybugs is we are actually going to hang them from the ceiling. Um, I got some black ribbon. And um, we're going to hang them uh, from the ceiling. Here's just some more. Um, and I also made, you know, I made quite a bit, but I made different sizes of ladybugs. Um, just some more of these here. Um, I'm just going to show you a bigger one here so you can kind of see. Uh, what they look like they're bigger and there's the bigger ones here I'll show you there um, so those are the bigger um, ladybugs now I have a little corner uh, where I am uh, where I'm going to uh, put the cake um, and the cake is gorgeous um, they've already showed me how it's going to look it's it's green on this on the uh, all around because it looks like grass and um, they're going to have little ladybugs crawling on it. And, um, of course, not real ones, that is. Um, but it's going to look really cute. So I'm really excited about that. But where I'm going to put my cake um, on the table, um, in that little corner we have, uh, which I will show you a video. That's my, um, my goal is to get a video out so you can see what the end result looks like. Um, but um, what I plan to do is put a mama ladybug, okay, in that corner that's coming down towards that cake. So let me show you my mama ladybug. Isn't she cute? There's mama ladybug. So she's going to be right there in the corner. And um, so I'm excited about how that's going to look. Um, another thing that um, I was thinking about is what am I going to put on the tables? Well, when I decided instead of doing a white, because I always do white tablecloth, seems to be that's something that I always do. 
um, I thought of doing red, red, um, a tablecloth, tablecloths that I'm going to use. So I purchased those at the Dollar Tree as well. They're just your plastic, plastic table covers. Um, I thought they were pretty inexpensive. It's only a dollar for one of these. And, you know, a lot of times, um, people will spill things or they get food on them or whatnot. You know what? You can just throw them away. Um, and if you don't, they're sometimes easy to clean as well. So, um, here they are. Here are the tablecloths. I got quite a bit of those. Um, for my tables. Now, I didn't want just a simple red. Again, this is a ladybug theme. I want more color in it. So um, what I decided to do is, I don't have a polka dot tablecloth, so what I decided to do is make my own polka dots. Check that out. Okay, these are my polka dots. Now, again, I used the poster board, black poster board, Dollar Tree, cut my circles out, and what I plan to do with these polka dots is actually put them on top of the tablecloth so I'll stick them on there so it just it looks like a big red tablecloth with polka dots, black polka dots. How's that spots on it? Now in in uh, the centerpiece, because I didn't want to make it too busy with so many polka dots on it, the center of that table will have this right here, which is another circle. Um, it seems to be like a little circle theme, but um, I thought that this would really stand out with what I'm going to actually put on in the middle of that table. So it's just a simple, again, poster board, get your poster board for Dollar Tree. Um, just a big circle here, and this will go right in the middle of the table, okay? And um, what I uh, decided to do was, okay, I needed flowers, which I definitely knew I wanted red flowers. Um, so I picked some red flowers up at Walmart. You can get them at the Dollar Tree, but my Dollar Tree didn't really have... The, the pretty flowers I was really looking for. So I was able to get a bundle of, oh, I think it might have been, um, oh, I think it might have been six flowers, six flowers for $3, I think, maybe in that ballpark. Um, so um, I was able to get quite a bit, and I decided just I was just going to put two flowers um, in a vase, and I thought, well, what vase am I going to use? What's this, you know, what's this going to look like? So I realized I have mason jars in my um, shed, lots of mason jars, and I thought, why can't I just use a mason jar? And I went online to see if, you know, if, if I could get away with at least using two flowers in a mason jar, and if I could get away with that, and it looked like I could. It was going to look pretty simple, um, but um, I decided to use the mason jar. But I wanted to add a little bit more to that, um, because um, one of the things that, um, you know, I'm, I'm trying to do here is have more color, more color. Um, so I took the ribbon that I had used uh, for um, the same kind of ribbon I'd used for the mitts and I put them around towards the middle okay, of the jar to make it look fuller like it's not just the flowers but there's just a little bit more going on here with this jar and this is what this looks like now. This really came together um, it was it's kind of interesting how you know this came together because I just had flowers and I put them in a jar and I put this ribbon and that was it and I thought okay uh, what now you know what am I going to put in there how am I going to make this color stand out and it just came to me grass that's it grass so I was able to find still some Easter grass very inexpensive Easter grass to put it in there to make it you know I've got grass in there and guess what I also added to that to make it very cute and special if you if you really look right in there there's a ladybug in there well not a real ladybug but a ladybug that I made and here is the finished product you can make your own ladybugs now this is very simple also an, another very simple uh, project um, this here pretty much takes the foam balls if you see the little foam balls um, they're white and um, you can get them at the Dollar Tree they're all in different sizes they come in a pack of I think it's maybe 10 of them. And what you do with those is you cut them in half. You gotta be really careful. You gotta get really you have to use a real sharp knife. You cut them in half. And then what you do is you just paint them red. Okay, so I painted them red, let them dry, let them sit for a little bit. And then after they're dry, you take a sharpie and just add add the polka dots there, the dots on it, on the body of that. Okay. And then after you're done with that, um, you glue um, your your pom poms. These pom poms you can also get the Dollar Tree. And I will tell you that the Dollar Tree does not sell just uh, just one color. You're not going to find one specific color. Um, what they sell is a bag of quite a bit of them. Um, I don't have it in front of me here to show you, but um, I think I want to say they're just all different colors, all different sizes. 
So um, you can get your black pom-poms and just stick them on there like that. And they also sell those googly eyes that you can put on there too. Um, you know, if you couldn't find those and, you know, um, you can always do little white pieces, of paper circles and affix them to them. However you feel, you know, but this just seems the cutest and the easiest thing to do. And they're not very, the little, the little eyes are not very expensive. You can even find them at Walmart for $1.50 or so. So anyway, these are the little bugs that we made. And um, you can, again, you can make them in different sizes. Some are small, some are big. Okay. And the reason for that is because some of these big ones will be close to the cake on that table. And um, these little ones are, uh, again, like I put them on, uh, I put them inside every jar. So it looks like there's a little ladybug in the grass hiding in there, which I thought was really, really cute. So there it is. There's a ladybug. And another thing that I plan to do is um, I, I, I made quite a bit of these ladybugs. So what my plan was is to... Uh, once my vase is set, um, I'm going to uh, put some more Easter grass, a little bit more of that grass um, on this white um, this white circle that I made and um, put some of these ladybugs on the table as well, okay? So just to give it more color, something really cute um, in the middle of that table. Um, so that's what that will look like. Um, so I'm really excited about it. I'm really excited about that turned out. One of the things I want to point out as well that I did with a specific jar. Now I didn't get this um, at the Dollar Tree, um, but I got it at Walmart. And um, what it was, it's, it's a little, if you can see really closely, there's a little ladybug crawling. As you can see, it looks like it's crawling on the jar. And it's a little button that you got, I got at Walmart, and there's, it's I think a little bag of, I think there's like 11 or 12 of them. And they're just buttons, but um, I thought that would be an extra cute little touch that you could, I could just glue on there. It almost looked like a, like a little ladybug was crawling on that jar. So I made these in red. I have the red, and I have also the black, the black and white here as well. So I got them, again, trying to really bring out the polka dots um, a little bit, put a little bit more color into that. So that's what that looks like, and that's what we're going to have on the tables. Um, so I also brought um, some plates at the Dollar Tree, and they're, they're just your basic uh, paper plates. There's 24 to a pack, and I um, plan to use this for um, the cake, where, where um, we're going to have the cake. So there's my plates for that. And um, our Mother's Day event, um, our men, um, they are actually going to serve our moms. Our moms are not going to cook that day. Our moms are not going to serve that day. And our moms are not cleaning that day. That's right. So the men are going to be the servers and the cleaners and uh, the cooks that day. So I'm pretty excited about that. Um, going and just, uh, you know, having a good time and really enjoying um, the food that they're going to make. Um, we've got some pretty good cooks, pretty good cooks there. And so um, I'm really excited about that. Um, I did, um, my husband didn't really want to tell me what they were making. He just really wants to really surprise us. However, I do know, and I was able to get out of him, that they're making a very good salsa. So if you like salsa, that's what they're going to make. Um, I know you're, you're probably, your mouth is probably watering right now. But let me tell you, um, it's going to be fun. And when he said that they're going to make salsa instantly, my mind is like, okay. You know, what can we do for the salsa? Where can we put the salsa to make, you know, uh, on the tables? Are you going to, you know, because, again, I want this to be really nice for our moms. And um, I decided, you know what, I found these at the Dollar Tree, and I thought this would be perfect. It's a salsa bowl, and it's a two-pack, so there's two of them in a pack. And I picked up red. That's my colors, right? And I've, there's some black ones as well, so um, I'd already had those that I picked up at the Dollar Tree. Um, but here's where our salsa is going to go on the table. So I got, I got several of those to put on our tables. So that is um, taken care of. Um, so that's pretty much as far as what we're going to, you know, do. Now um, there is a little something that I kind of want to share um, with you. That again, there's just little things that yeah, I picked up here and there. But I thought this was really cute because this has nothing to do with my, uh, you know, decorating or how this 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 is going to look for Mother's Day. But I found this, and I thought this was so cute. Check this out. It's a ladybug. It's a floor scrubber. Now, you know what? I I, I thought, I don't know why I'm in this, like, ladybug mood, but, um, you know, I uh, picked this up, and I plan to use this to, to uh, clean my bathroom floors. 
so scrub my floors with. So anyway, I thought that was really cute. They have them in frogs, and they have, there's a couple more. Uh, I'm not sure right right off the top of my head. Maybe duck. I think there's a duck, too. Um, so anyway, um, thought that was really cute. Another thing that uh, we picked up pretty simple is this massager. Now, I know that you're not going to be able to do that yourself. You're going to have to have your kids do that for you or your husband. Um, but Or maybe even just a sweet friend that, that wants to help you out there. And I tell you, this was, this is, it may look really simple, but it feels great. My niece is... The, the day we found this at the Dollar Tree, as I was, as I was walking her around looking for things, she just was be behind me just doing this. I thought that was pretty neat. So anyway, we picked this up. Uh, we really like that. Another thing that um, I want to share that I thought was also, and I ripped up the package. The package is gone. Uh, we got right to the product, and that is this. Um, let me show you. I think it's the product is by Chapped Ice. Um, it's watermelon. Okay, and it's. If you like those EOS's, that brand EOS, of course this is a lot smaller, uh, but I just thought it was really cute. Um, this is of the brand Revo, okay, Revo, R-E-V-O. Um, but this is what they look like. They come in two different flavors, watermelon, which um, this is my niece's, and I got a strawberry, um, and they're really nice. They, um, they really are. So anyway, just something cute if you're giving to a mother. Now I know, you know, maybe you're doing a little gift basket. Throw some of these in there. These are cute along with that massager. Um, so anyway, I think that's it. Um, I just want to wish all of you a happy Mother's Day, all of you. I want to thank, I don't know all of you, but I want to thank all of you because you're all mothers and you do so much and you love unconditionally. And that is no matter what. And that must be such a difficult job sometimes. And I tell you, you're, you're natural at it. Um, you're a mother. And I just want to thank all of you for watching my video. Uh, for all my subscribers that have subscribed and all the wonderful comments I get when I read them. Sometimes I, I apologize. I don't get a chance to right away to get to respond. I, I get, I'm so busy all the time, but I do read them. And um, again, I just want to thank you. And again, happy Mother's Day. And please look forward. Um, hopefully I get that video up once I finish that decorating and you can see the final touch to this wonderful day that we have coming up. So see ya.